Welcome back to Teresa's Jam. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. And if you're new here, welcome. I have an awful garbage mouth. And if you're not into that or weird shit in general, this is not the place for you. Feel free to access the video here. No harm, no foul. But I'll remember our time fondly. Guys, I'm finally doing it. I'm finally doing a makeup collection tour. Woo! It only took me having to move in order to do it. In any case, this is actually probably my most requested video, so I really do hope that you enjoy this shit. But before we get into the makeup stuff, I do want to point out this lovely ass picture created by Diana, also known as Red Lotus Designs. And I'm going to link her stuff down below. She is really awesome and super creative. She actually created this and then tagged me on Instagram. I immediately fell in love with it because of the narcissist that I am. And then I, and then I demanded that I get a print of it because I'm a monster. So I want to say thank you so much, Diana, for sending this to me. I fucking love it so much. And now I feel like my makeup area is complete. So this first drawer is pretty much all contour slash like bronzing stuff. Mostly contour. But the first one being the Shade and Light by Kat Von D. My holy grail. I know. I know, guys. You fucking everybody hates her. Whatever. I love this color. It's really such a good cool tone contour. It's hard to find anything like it. And that's why I've been holding on to this bad boy. And as you can see, it's been used and motherfucking abused. I will say, however, that I actually actually have been sleeping on this brand a little bit. This is IBY Beauty. And I purchased this contour kit because I saw that it was like, you know, I would say fairly cool tone. And then I kind of like put it away. Didn't even think about it. And I'm actually kind of thankful that we have moved because in the move, now I'm like, oh yeah, look at all this makeup that I bought that I haven't even used yet. And this is one of the things that I pulled out. And I have to say that this contour kit is fantastic. And I am going to do a review on this guy, but holy shit, this is good. I fucking love it. Next one is actually from Too Faced and it's the Pineapple Strobe pineapple sun, whatever the fuck it is. Um, it's okay. It's not bad. It's cute. She cute. I just really love this little pineapple here. That's my favorite part. As you can see, I am six years old. I also got the Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter. This kit is consisted of half cream, half powder. I really just like the powder side and I really kind of only stay with these shades. The cream size, as you can see, they're kind of been untouched a little bit, but I don't really fuck with cream too much, but this is actually pretty cool. Definitely worth half off. I got some of these little Benefit Hula Bronzers, Hula Lights in those weird 1990s McDonald's packaging that I adore. I probably could throw them away, but I'm not because I'm a psycho. I got the KKW Contour Kit in Light One, as well as the Fenty Matchstick in the shade Amber. Incredibly cool toned, which is really nice. And last but not least, I actually have the Park Avenue Princess from Tarte. I wanted this palette so goddamn badly, and then I got it in my Boxy Lux, and I don't really like it. I mean, it's okay. Very, very warm toned. Like, come on, man. Like, I can't fucking get away with that. But I do love the shade Enhanced. The shade Enhanced, as well as the shade Halo, I'm fine with that. And I guess Princess Cut is not so terrible, but everything else is just way too warm for me, so I can't really fuck with it. You're probably saying, well, why did you get rid of it? Well, you're not my mom, okay? So the next drawer is more and more bronzers. How much bronzers can one bitch need? A lot. So the first one is actually from Pretty Vulgar. Normally I really hate them, but this I, I'm kind of not mad at. I also got this from a boxy look, so something that I didn't immediately throw in the trash. Plus the packaging is really cute. I just hate that it's plastic. Kind of almost wish that this was metal, especially for the price point, because I think these guys retail for like 30 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. So I mean, shit, at least upgrade the packaging. The next one is Fenty Beauty. This is In The Sun. This bronzer has been my favorite bronzer as of this year. It's beautiful. It's definitely well worth the money. I have a Hula Light, a big Hula Light that I picked up at IMATS because it was dumb cheap. Take Home the Bronze, which is a really nice cool tone bronzer from Balm Cosmetics. Don't really like a lot of stuff from them, but this though, this I could fuck with. I have two bronzers from Wet n Wild, as you can see. I don't even think they make these anymore, or that's what I heard. That was a rumor anyway. One is the darker one, which is Ticket to Brazil, and I believe this is Reserve Your Cabana, which is something that Kelly Strack always talks about, and Kelly Strack is a pretty big YouTuber on here. Oh, well, I know. I don't think she has a million yet, but she's pretty big. She's this cute little girl from New Jersey that really, really likes to make herself orange. In any case... <laughs> I kid, I kid. Anyway, she always raves about this and I have to say that she's right and I really do like this as a nice little setting powder. And last but not least, I have this bronzer from Makeup Revolution. Don't be fooled. I It looks fucking old, but I've actually only had it for like maybe two months now. The reason why I picked this up is because it was marketed as a cool tone bronzer, but as you can see, if you look at my skin and this bronzer, bitch, we got problems, okay? So I don't think this is right for my skin tone and it's really not cool. It's more warm toned anything. Well, maybe it's actually not that bad after all. I don't know. Maybe I'm bugging. I don't know. It actually kind of looks warm. In any case, let me just wipe that away. 
I'm not gonna be swatching everything, otherwise we'll be here for three years. I know you guys wanna see swatches, but we're not doing that, all right? So stop it, stop asking. I probably could get rid of it, but you know, I'm a hoarder, so I'm not. The next one is a bunch of face palettes. As you can see, I like to keep things in order. First one is actually from MAC in the Jeremy Scott collection. The reason why I picked this up is because it was a CD and it reminded me of my childhood, I'll be very honest. And the fact that the colors work for me is actually pretty good. The only thing is the bronzer is a little bit on the warmer side, a little bit on the orange side for me, but in any case, I can make the shit work because it's not super pigmented. The next thing is from Natasha Denona and it is the Blushing Glow palette. And I actually did not purchase this myself. A lovely subscriber, her name is Dana. Dana is a fucking sweetheart, love her to pieces. She has sent a lot of indie cosmetics, like Notoriously Morbid, that have been absolutely stunning. And she actually sends this to me as a housewarming gift, which is really, really cute. I do wanna point out that I have to make a mail time video. I know a bunch of you guys have sent me stuff to my PO box and I have tried to at least email you guys to be like, hey, I have received it, except for the people that have been anonymous Obviously, I have no way of contacting you, duh, because you're fucking anonymous, and I hate you and love you. I hate you for that because I want to say thank you, but I understand and I love you anyway. But I am going to be making a mail time video, so please know that like I'm not an asshole and it's not like I'm hoarding things, it's just I haven't had time to do it. But I'm always super appreciative every time you guys do send me stuff, whether it be an actual physical item or whether you email me or whatever, I always appreciate that. And yeah, thanks. Anyway, so she sent me this awesome palette that I am going to be reviewing in a later video. This has been pretty cool though, so here is your cream products, which I actually like the little case for. And then here are your powder products. And it's, this palette has been pretty fun, I have to say. I really like it, so thanks, Dana. I have the Dreaded Cover FX palette that was not sent to me in my BoxyCharm, but one of you lovely babies sent to me. Thank you for that. This palette's okay. <laughs> It's not amazing, it's okay. I wanna like it more, trust me. I really do after all the yelling I did in my videos, I wanna like it more, but it's really not that great. I have this palette that I haven't even used yet. It's from e.l.f., it's the Modern Metals face palette. I love this little e.l.f. face palette that I actually got from a Tarte Beauty box. These colors suit me very, very well, so I'm very happy about that. And last but not least, I have a face palette from Makeup Geek, and I adore this. This is actually for porcelain skin tones, and I love the shit out of this highlighter. It's definitely like a yellow gold and ugh. Bitch. Love it. This bitch is full. So the next drawer is my blush drawer. The first one is the Cheerleaders Mini Pink Squad. Oh, I'm sorry, Cheek Leaders. I keep saying Cheerleaders. It's the Cheek Leaders. And now that I know that, it bums me out. This is a cool palette. I really do like it. Please note that Tickle and Cookie are gonna be released as full-size highlighters, which thank fucking God. I really do love Tickle, but honestly, the clear winner is Cookie, so you better go fucking pick that up if you don't wanna pick up these little guys or the big face palette. Actually, don't even get the face palette. Just get that highlighter. I have two satin blushes from Essence that I really do enjoy. I have this deadly fucking weapon from God damn it, motherfucker, KKW Beauty, this beautiful peach blush that is a bitch to open and the edges are so sharp I can cut somebody with it. So I need to actually take this out and put it in my bag so I can kill somebody on the subway with it. I have this one from Flower Beauty. This is from Shu Yamura and I actually received this from my good friend on here. Her name is Ren, Strawberry Lolly. I know I've mentioned her a bunch of times in my videos. She is the queen of Japanese makeup. Go check her out, actually. And her and actually Vivi Meg. I feel like they are my go-to when it comes to, to Asian makeup, so go check them out. Ren actually sent this to me and it's super fucking cool. And I love it because it's like so pinky. Yeah, and I also love it because it's Super Mario Brother. I mean, come on. It literally matches my tattoo here. But I love how light this formula is. And it's really perfect for the summertime. It kind of gives you like that really nice, like just flush to your cheeks. I have a tart blush that I'm pretty sure I got from a box of charm that I have not decluttered yet. I have a peach blush from Burt's Bees in the shade Bare Peach. I got it because Casey Holmes couldn't shut the fuck up about it and I have to agree, it's pretty good. I have a blush from Hourglass in the shade Luminous Flush. Gorgeous, probably my favorite color from Hourglass. I have two from Ofra, the first one being Bellini, which is my favorite, favorite Ofra blush of all time. And then I believe this one's called Punch, which is also really good. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio in Peachy Love. This I wanted forever and then I finally bought it and then I didn't touch it for six months because that's the kind of person I am. In any case, I have been kind of playing with it in the last few months. And I love it. I have two duos from Jouer. The first one is my favorite. It's the Adore duo. The other one is the Coquette blush duo. Very pretty. I fucked it up a little bit on the side here, so that's awesome. But this is very, very pinky. This is more of like a purpley kind of blush. It's very Annabelle's Campbell Soup Kid. I also have a couple of these little Benefit McDonald's toys down here, and then followed by the Wander Beauty Dust to Dawn palette. And this is fantastic. I actually really do like Wander Beauty a lot, and I can't 
can't wait to buy more stuff from them. So these are more blushes. Let's start with this one. This is the Surfatina from Juvia's Place. Very pretty. I have this blush from Space Case and it's not me, it's my sign. I really like the name of that, it's super cute. You can see that I kind of really like pinky or peachy kind of tone blushes. Here's another hourglass blush that I have, and this is actually in Luminous Flush. Really? Why did, really? <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> Okay, so I bought this first and then I bought the big one in IMATS and I, I swore that this was something different. Wow, I'm a fucking idiot. Okay, anyway, there's another luminous flush that I really should just start kind of using this, but I think I'm starting to hit pan a little bit in the middle. I think. I don't know. God damn it, I'm an idiot. I have one from ColourPop. This is a very pretty peach blush. Don't even know the name of it, but it's gorgeous though. I'm the Balm Springs, Frat Boy. And last but not least, Balm Beach. I have the blush from the Cream Shop, or the Creme Shop, in the shade Mon Cherie. And then last but not least, I actually have LMR Cosmetics little blush book, which is what I received in my BoxyCharm. I have this little duo from Makeup Forever. Very nice gold highlighter and very like mauve toned blush to go along with it. Super pretty. I have this one that I've had for so long now. It's from Makeup Forever. One of my favorite pinky peach blushes. So pretty. I have this baked blush from Laura Geller. I'm sorry, I keep like fucking swatching everything. Now I can't help it. A little bit darker, but now that we're approaching the warmer weather, should be pretty to wear. I have a couple more McDonald's toy blushes from Benefit Cosmetics. Milani Luminoso, I think everybody has this one. This is probably the first sugar, This yeah, this is the first Benefit blush I ever bought. This is the Sugar Bomb blush. Wow. <laughs> I live on the sixth floor. That's pretty fucking loud. Those dogs are not having it. Okay, anyway, so this is Sugar Bomb. And last but not least, I have some of my favorite blushes and they're from Inglot. Picked this one up during IMATS, as well as this guy. So let's move on to the next drawer, which is pretty much all my liquid eyeshadows. So as you see, I have a bunch from Stila. I have a little a couple of minis. I, ha I don't even know why I have this one. This one's awful. This is the Yellow Tails one. This was supposed to be like their yellow. Dude, it sucks. This comes out way more pigmented on my hand than it does on my eyeball. Sucks, I hate this one so much. But anyway, I have it in my collection because I'm a monster. I have these two from Black Moon Cosmetics, right? Yep, Black Moon Cosmetics. I've actually received this from one of my subscribers. Her name is Anya. I adore her. She is my Discord queen. And if you guys aren't a part of the Miserable 3 Discord, you are missing the fuck out. Especially if you want to see some weird ass shit and just talk to some really fucking cool people. But Anya is awesome. She makes all our little emotes for us and um, she's just my gothic queen and I love her and I can't wait to meet her when I go to the West coast. But anyway, she got me this liquid eyeshadow. She sent me this really cool like gothic curated makeup box. It's fucking so cool. Ooh, that's a, that's a shift, man. Hold on. Let me see if I could just do it here. Hot damn. Wait, can we do that with the green over here? Ooh, bitch. Fuck, that's awesome. On this side, I have a little purple guy from Cover FX. This is their Shimmer Veil, followed by a Catrice Liquid Metal. I have two Wet n Wild ones from the Gothographic Collection, which was kind of, uh, it wasn't the best collection, but whatever. I have this really cool shade from Ciate London, and it is the Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow, and this is such a pretty color. Super gorgeous. And last but not least, I still have my two Fenty ones. And they're just super pretty. And they're still pretty good too. So pretty. And I actually really like utilizing this more in the summertime because they're just so easy to use. The next drawer is all my little single slash, I don't really know what to do with them. As you can see, it's a lot of yellow up in here. So on this side, I have the Urban Decay SGH single. This to me is my favorite Urban Decay single ever. Ever 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 ever, 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 ever. Love this one, and I don't think you can get it anymore, which, which is a goddamn shame. I have a Sephora yellow. This one is, fuck it, I need to throw this one away, but I'm not. This one's called Sunglasses Needed. Adore it. 
I have a NYX one back here. This is hot garbage. Don't know why I'm holding on to it. Like I said, I'm a hoarder. I also have this from, Ren also gave this for me. This is from a brand called RMK. I have a little Smashbox single shadow that I, I think I got in a, oh no, it's two eyeshadows. Holy shit, girl. I actually got this in an Ipsy bag that I don't, again, don't know why I'm holding on to it. I have the brand Model Co. I have a single from Nomad. I have a Melt stack over here. It's okay. It's not that great. I have these two loose shadows that I received from Emily. Oh my God, where are they from again? They're from John Eyed Cosmetics. Oh my God, bitch. Fuck. That's not even a really good swatch either, shit. Do a double swatch of that one. This is from John Eye Cosmetics and they are absolutely gorgeous. I feel like such an evil slutty queen. God damn, thanks Emily. I'll link her channel down below too. She is a fantastic YouTuber that's just starting out and she's just a sweetheart. I also have a bunch of these little eyeshadow cream sticky guys, one from Bobbi Brown, one from Laura Mercier. I think it's her caviar stick I have here. I have this thing that's actually new. What is this? Oh, it's from Nude Sticks. Yeah, I didn't even fucking open this, great. And then last but not least, I have Mally which is an Evercolor shadow stick. What is this one? Oh, that's really nice. And then last but not least, I have like the glitter gelée from Glossier Play that I'm still trying to figure out how to use. And last but not least, on this side is all my ColourPop singles. I had so many more and I really kept the ones that I really love. My favorite one all time is Moonwalk. Ooh, I, oh, I think she's getting dried. She's getting a little dried out. I, I probably have like maybe another month or two with her before I really have to throw her out. Yeah, I love Moonwalk, such a good shadow. I also have this, which one of you guys gave me. Was it Dana? Maybe it was Dana. Chrome paint, love it. My hands, holy shit. See, this is why I can't swatch everything. <laughs> Uh, and last but not least in this drawer, I actually got this from Trudy. Trudy, one of my amazing Australian subscribers. She sent me this is from Mecca Cosmetics. And this is really, really, really cool. Do I have a clean finger? Uh, we'll make this one a clean finger. Such a pretty creamy eyeshadow. Actually, what I love about this one is that it's so light. It's actually perfect when I kind of pair it with my Glossier stuff to kind of give me that like wet slutty look. And this is really gorgeous and very, very pretty. So thank you Trudy for sending this to me. This is super awesome. I can't wait to come to Australia because I want to go to Mecca Cosmetics super badly. And I need to stop swatching stuff because now I'm getting all this shit everywhere. But anyway, okay, so on the top shelf of this storage container, I have a little panda from Tony Moly. I have the greatest, the greatest sharpener of all time and it's from Glossier Play. I don't need another sharpener ever again. A mascara from Pretty Vulgar because I like the packaging but I hate the actual product. I have a liquid frost from Jeffree Star that I barely use from the Blue Blood collection and then I have two brush cleaners. Up here what I have, <laughs> I want to frame this, I really do. This is really cool. This is actually from Makeup of the Day. They wind up sending me PR and then they actually sent me a code that I could have gave to you guys. But by the time that I showed it to you, the code expired. So anyway, go try the code out. See if it still works. <laughs> I don't think, no, I don't think I got anything. Well, no, nothing said that I would get anything. So I think it was just, this was just like purely just a code to have a code. But I was a fan of their brushes. They weren't that bad, weren't my favorites, but they weren't terrible. But uh, eh, not really worth the money. And if it was more than 15% off, I would say like, yeah, go for it. But their brushes are expensive and it needs to be a higher percentage off. That's just me. But in any case, I love this and I want to frame it. Because it's my first coupon code ever. It'll definitely be my last, but I'm okay with that. So on this side, oh, actually the, a non-makeup thing. This is super fucking cute. I got this when I was in Disneyland and it's a little shadow, 3D shadow box of the Haunted Mansion. I love this. So on the top here, I have my handbook for the recently deceased. It was an eyeshadow palette from Hot Topic. The shadows weren't terrible. They weren't bad at all, but I, I just like it for decoration, obviously, because I'm a packaging whore. So that's why it's up here. Mm. See, I don't, I haven't even really dipped back into it because I just don't want to. The eyeshadows were fine, but it's just, I want to kind of preserve it as much as humanly possible. And I love this thing. It's so fucking cute. I also have two eye droppy things over here because my eyes are super sensitive. I have a shitload of brushes. I have this adorable lip balm from Tokyo Disneyland that Ren sent me, as well as I'm trying to finish off this beauty blender foundation. 
I initially thought that I went through this, but because it was laying on its side, all the product just kind of collected there. So now I've been trying to leave it up to try to see how much product is actually in it, but I don't think it's really that much because I really used and abused this foundation. This was a good foundation. The shade range is a little meh, but it's actually beautiful. I also have this really cool lip balm from Japan that Ren also sent me. Japan's packaging is amazing, but at the same time, it <laughs> it makes me not want to use the products only because it's so goddamn cute. I don't want to ruin it, but I have to because otherwise it'll go bad. I do love this chapstick. It's so goddamn cute. I also have two of my used beauty blenders here. They're actually not even beauty blenders. One is a Gino sponge sent by the lovely Jenny from Jenny Has Changed Your Number. She has a great channel too. And this is actually my favorite, 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 favorite sponge of all time. It's from Japanesque and I don't think I think most places sell it anymore. Maybe, maybe Amazon does. This is my favorite sponge of all time. And last but not least, one of the coolest things that I have ever received is this awesome chapstick that says Teresa's Dead on it. Anya, my gothic queen, sent this to me and I love it. I love it so goddamn much. Let's start off with the eyeliners and eye primers. First one being the Kat Von D Lolita shade. Super pretty, super cute. I liked it. Probably the only thing I liked out of that whole collection. I have a bunch of the Fenty liners as well as I have a handful of liquid eyeliners, but I really don't have that much because liquid eyeliners are not my favorite, but these are the ones that I don't mind. First one is from Tarte. This is the Tartiest in the shade Brown. This is probably my favorite one actually, and this is from LA Splash Cosmetics, the Architect Eyeliner, super cool. The Fenty one is really fabulous as well. The Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, the Benefit Roller Liner, which isn't bad. And then actually the cream, the Creme Shop or the Cream Shop, whatever the fuck you wanna call it. This one actually wasn't bad either. I have a bunch of Hydra Liners from Suva Beauty. It's the black one. I have the yellow, the orange, as well as green. These guys glow in the dark, which are fucking amazing. I have this yellow gel eyeliner from Inglot. Haven't really used it yet. I have my tried and true eye primer from NARS in vanilla. This is the soft matte concealer. I have the MAC paint pot in painterly because you know I'm a fucking YouTuber. I have the P. Louise base because I'm a fucking YouTuber. And then I have NYX glitter glue, which isn't bad. I don't know why I have two tubes of it, but I do. And actually this was given to me by Jenny as well. My next drawer is straight up eyeliners because you bitch can't have enough. I do have two sharpeners in here. I don't know why I have them. I should just get rid of them because the Glossier Play one's the best one, but whatever, I digress. My favorite eyeliner of pretty much all time, and I have so many variations of it because I don't want to get rid of it, is actually from M Cosmetics. This is my favorite gel black eyeliner in pencil form, followed by Almay Cosmetics, and it has to be in this packaging. If it's not in this packaging, I don't want anything to do with it. So I have a black one, I have a brown one, I have the Glossier Play products. These are also two wonderful gel eyeliners that are fantastic, can't get enough of it. This has been pretty fun. This is the gel eyeliner from ColourPop and it's like neon yellow. And this actually lasts for a good amount of time. I was quite surprised because I heard a lot of bad things about it, but it actually is pretty good on me. I have a NYX pencil. I have another ColourPop green pencil. I have a couple Makeup Forever little guys in here. I have some Urban Decay sprinkled in as well as I have, what the hell is this? Oh, I have a Givenchy, oh, that's right. Yeah, one of you guys, I f was it, who who recommended this to me? Was it Allie? I think Allie recommended this to me. It's a Givenchy coal waterproof pencil. This was pretty, doesn't last on me though, but I still kept it. The Benefit eye brightening pencil, I really do like this, but it's just too much money for basically a peach fucking eyeliner. Another Makeup Forever one. Makeup Forever does make some really bomb ass eyeliners. It's just every time I go into Sephora, they're always out of stock and it's like super fucking annoying. I have more Alme. I have this other one from Bodyography. Oh yeah, this is from BoxyCharm. I haven't used it yet, but it's in here. I have a couple from L'Oreal. I actually have a brand called Who Me, which is something that Ren sent me from Japan, which is really cool. I have the Elf J Kissa collaboration. Have not used it. It's a blue eyeliner. Haven't used it. Can't tell you if it's good or not. And last but not least, I have this one from Collab, which is a killer coal eyeliner. And it's actually really interesting because you like like twist it off. Yeah, it's like you kind of twist it up. It's very, very weird. But you see how it's like slowly coming up though? I think also this might be tapped a little bit too. But anyway, those are all my little eyeliners. The next drawer is a bunch of mascaras. There's a couple that are new in here and then the ones that I'm currently working on. So the first one is from Wander Beauty. This one's not bad. I have two lower lash line mascaras. This one's from It Cosmetics. This is fantastic. It's called Tight Line, which I believe is $24. And then this is like one from Clinique, which is $12. And 
and this one is called the Lower Lash Line Mascara. Both of them are fantastic. I think I like the It Cosmetics one more. I have a Benefit Roller Lash, my tried and true, my number one, my Guerlain. This is the only mascara that I actually really am completely obsessed with. I really do love Roller Lash, but this one, ever since my friend recommended this to me and now I use it all the time, it's like, it's hard to fucking use anything else. I have Bad Gal Bang, which, okay, I'm kind of, here's the thing about this. I really love this for the lower lash line until I found the little tight line one, so then I stopped using it. I don't know if I got like a weird one or something's up with it, but this one's not bad, but sometimes it comes off really fucking clumpy and it's very off-putting, which sucks. But, because I really like the fact that it does give you pretty decent length for the most part, but... I don't know. It's something weird about it. But I'm, so I'm just trying to use it up and just forget about it. But I actually think I like the, I actually think I like the smaller size better than the bigger size. So kind of note to self never to buy the fucking bigger size ever again. I have this Tristique mascara that I received in a box deluxe. This is really kind of crazy. It also can curl your eyelashes, which is slightly terrifying. So we have that. I have the J Kiss at Elf mascara. Haven't fucking used it. I have Il Maquillage mascara. Haven't used that one yet. And then I have a black roller lash mascara. My next drawer is all my eyebrow products. So on this side, these are kind of the newer stuff of the Goof Proof Pencil. I'm in the shade 2.5, right? Yep. I have two Makeup Revolution ones. These are pretty fucking good. I really, really like them. They only cost, I think, like $5. It's the Duo Brow Definer. I'd say it's more of like a pomade-ish gel kind of pencil. It's weird, but it's actually really good. And then I have a brow boss from ColourPop that I enjoy. This I'm actually going to be giving to my friend because it's going to be fitting her eyebrows more than it is mine, so I just kind of have it in the drawer, but I have no intention of ever using it. I have an Essence Make Me Brow, which is a really good dupe for Gimme Brow, obviously. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Dip Gel. I don't like it. I thought I liked it, but it makes my eyebrows really fucking crunchy and like it's hard to do. I don't know. Like it makes them look really weird and crunchy. I am not a fan of it. I'm still going to use it because I fucking purchase it. And I'm just trying to go through it and I'll probably talk about it more in like a bite size review, but I really don't like it. I have one from Brow Gal, which is actually new. I think I got it from a boxy charm and it kind of just been sitting in here ever since. This is pretty cool. This is the NYX Fill and Fluff and I only purchased this because I thought I didn't have enough eyebrow products when I was moving and I packed all my makeup away. So I kind of ran quickly to uh, to CVS and I purchased this and I actually really like it. What's cool about this one is it has a teeny tiny little brush. I have an open brow boss pencil. I have an open goof proof pencil. And then last but not least, I actually really love this guy. It's the brow powder from It Cosmetics. My next drawer is kind of like a mishmash of powders. I have a NARS translucent setting powder that I've pretty much hit pan on and I'm just trying to use and abuse it. I have the powder from Bessemer Cosmetics, that shimmering pearl powder that is gorgeous. Love her. I have this, I don't know why I have this. So I per, I actually got this when I was in an outlet in Florida. And I think I got it only because it was like YSL and I was like, I don't have anything from YSL, but basically it's a highlighting powder. It's a Touche Eclats Luminaire Divine. I don't know, I'm not good at fucking French. She pretty, right? But like, I don't know. Eh. She okay. She's like more of like a natural highlight. So maybe I'll kind of utilize this a little bit more in the summertime. Who am I kidding? I want to glow like a fucking alien. In any case, I have that. So I don't really know why I have that. I have the ColourPop No Filter Sheer Press Powder. It's fine. Eh, it's okay. I have the Urban Decay Fair Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation. It's okay. I, I don't really have anything to say about it. <laughs> I don't hate it, but it's like not really my cup of tea. This, this is from Laura Mercier. It's her translucent pressed setting powder. Honestly, I think I like the pressed powder more than I do the loose setting powder. All right, bitch. My next drawer is all my primers. So let's start over here. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I have the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base, which is just fantastic. I have one of my favorite drugstore primers. This is Catrice. This is the Prime and Fine Beautifying Primer. Super cool. I actually just got this in my BoxyCharm. It's from Touch and Soul, the No Problem Prime Essence. This is kind of a weird product. It's kind of like a water, kind of like a priming water in a way. I don't really know if it's really doing anything, but um, it's interesting. I have the Luminizer Primer from Dr. Brandt. I have this Laura Mercier Foundation Primer, a Radiance Primer. This one's fucking awesome, and I want to talk about a lot about this during my little mini reviews video, but this is the Hydro Grip Primer from Milk Makeup. This is really fucking cool stuff. I have a Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. I actually got this from Gay. She sent this to me. 
that darling little peanut her. I have the Becca First Light Priming Filter, almost done with this guy. The Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. I'll talk a little bit more about this in an upcoming video. This one I really do love. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For. No filter mattifying primer. You know, even though it's mattifying, it doesn't dry out my skin, so that's lovely. I have the Tried and True Tatcha Silk Canvas and the little Coke spoon that it comes with. And then I have the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I also kind of have this in here. I don't even know why I have it. I guess I could use this and mix it with foundation. This is the Cover FX Glitter Drops. Uh, eh, it's all right. Okay, so now we're on to my foundation drawers. Over here I have my Tried and True Tarte Found Sealer. I love this. This is my favorite foundation of 2019. It's disgusting how much I love it. Uma? Uoma Beauty? Fuck, I keep forgetting. Anyway, this one's really fantastic as well. 24 Hour Fresh Wear from L'Oreal. I have the It Cosmetics CC Cream, both the regular one as well as the matte version. I have the Eborian CC Cream, which is one of my favorite fucking things of all time. Dior Air Flash, and as well as the Juvia's Place Foundation. The next one is more foundation, because you bitch can't have enough, apparently. Fenty Beauty, Makeup Revolution, Makeup Forever. I have the Hourglass Stick, I have Elf White Drops, I have the Elf Flawless Finish, I have the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. I used to use the White Drops exclusively to like mix foundations, especially when it would look a little bit too darker and I needed to make it lighter. And I found that it was kind of like fucking up the consistency. So I've been using these Joa Truly Yours drops and because they are so liquidy, it actually provides a nice little radiant finish and it's been probably one of my favorite things that I've been doing. And then of course I have the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Foundation, which can I tell you, I was kind of like on the fence about. However, when I mix this with the Ole Henriksen Banana Primer, my makeup looks fucking sick, bitch. I love it. And then last but not least, I have two ColourPop No Filter Sticks only because I'm like in between shades. So those are my bitches right there. And last but not least, this is my... Motherfucking concealer drawer. So I have two from Makeup Revolution. I have Fenty Beauty. I have from Juvia's Place. I have the e.l.f. one, which this is way too fucking light for me. I think I need the shade up from it. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer, which is actually not that bad. Too Faced Born This Way, which is great. This is the Jouer one, which is okay, but again, it's really, really fucking light. I need to find the shade above this one. The NARS Radiant Concealer, which sucks. The Collab, which is my favorite concealer of all time. The Jeffree Star Concealer. Look, the little fucking stupid ass goddamn fucking star fell off of it because the packaging so fucking cheap but that's besides the point I have a concealer from Joa I have not used that yet oh I do have the Marc Jacobs accomplice concealer in the lightest shade which you know it's not bad. I actually like this one a lot. I have the Glossier Stretch Concealer, which is going to be really good for when it starts to get really warm out. I don't want to wear anything on my face. And I have these things from, I think it's called Ritual de Fil. One of you guys told me about it. It's these little skin nicks are really interesting to you. So I actually just wind up getting like little samples of this stuff. And it's actually really decent coverage. So I've kind of been playing around with those. Up here what I have is all setting sprays. So I have a little bit of the MAC Prep and Prime. I have the Tatcha, the Satin Skin Mist, which I really do like, but the pump on it sucks. This one is from Skin & Co. I just received this in my Boxylux and I love it. It's a beautiful radiant setting spray. I have the Scandinavia the Makeup Finishing Bridal Spray, as well as the Urban Decay All Nighter. And these are all the ones that I currently just have open. So the palettes that I have up there, and the only reason why I have them up there is because I don't really have any other place to put them, so they kind of have to live here. This one is the Tardiest Pro Glow Volume 3. I actually got this in my BoxyCharm. Very cute. I like it. This is from IBY Beauty, the Radiant Glow Palette. Really nice. Really, really nice. I have been playing with this for a little bit. Really pretty highlighters and blush. Very, very blinding. I'll show you. The shade Pearl. They be gorgeous. I have the Lip Palette Volume 1 from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I know I tossed this out, but then I wind up saving it because I really, really wanted to play more with this highlighter because it's like very, very pretty. So so goddamn pretty. And last but not least, I have the Cheek Leaders Bronze Squad Palette. And the only reason why I got it is because of this beautiful cookie shade, which, fuck. Oh, bitch. I love it. Okay, so these are all my lip products. <laughs> There's two more drawers. I know I need to organize these little guys better, but, um, 
there it's like stuff to the gills up here but these are all my lipsticks so so i have this one from color pop it's a nice little lippy stick i have this one from bite beauty and you'll see a lot of them are just pretty much just nude shades because you, you bitch is a basic ass nude bitch so that's why i have them i have one from essence i have more color pop lippies i have lip liners as well I have this one from Lunatic Cosmetics. This is a very beautiful mauve shade, and as you can see, it doesn't have any hair on it, so that's nice, right? I have this one from KKW Beauty. I have one from Necromancer, very beautiful nude. From ColourPop, Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is a very beautiful shade, and allegedly. I have a lot of little, little ones over here. I have some from Makeup Forever, from Bite Beauty, from Tarte. I have a bunch of little lip liners from Ila Mosca, Jean de Bleu, love how I said that, Ulta Beauty, KKW, as well as Kat Von D. I have two Baleen lipsticks, one in Beige Babe, one in Truffle Tees, Dose of Colors, the Mickey Mouse Collection lipstick. I have this beautiful one from Colored Rain. This was gorgeous. I have a Whore Red from Becca, Kylie. Kristen Leanne Bun Bun, which is like one of my favorite Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. A couple more Bite Beauty, little Makeup Forever, little Kat Von D over here. Ulta Beauty. I have Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have another ColourPop collection. I have another Jeffree Star one, which I don't even know why I have this. I don't think I'm ever going to really ever use it, but it's this very, very pink color. Maybe if I was a real estate agent named Barbara, I would wear it. I don't know. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have another one from Urban Decay, which I love the packaging on this guy. So cool. And then of course I have Mother. I have the Pat McGrath lipsticks that are absolutely gorgeous. I have two of those. Not the same shade obviously. I don't know if you guys would be interested in seeing my favorite nude lipsticks let me know down below and I will be more than happy to do that for you guys. Basically I don't want to take all of them out because it's such a fucking bitch to put them out so maybe I'll just take it the top layer out. Okay so up here I have some Wet n Wild MAC. I have some Too Faced NYX. I have Makeup Maniacs. I have more NYX. I have CoverGirl. I have Old Packaging Ofra. I have The Creme Shop. I have Hank and Henry which is great. And then when you unload the top over here, I have some Kat Von D, some Winky Lux. I have a shitload of Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I have Dose of Colors, another MAC one, another Kat Von D, and last but not least, a Violet Voss guy. And I believe that one is a Tarte lip paint. Last but not least over here, I have more liquid lipsticks because I'm insane. And you're going to see a lot of them are the same fucking colors. I have more Ofra. I have Black Moon Cosmetics, I have Ciate London, Glossier Play, Makeup Maniacs, Jolie Cosmetics, which I actually just got recently, Galactic, some ColourPop, one of my absolute favorites is Baby Bat Beauty, beautiful color from Baby Bat Beauty. That is the shade Zodiac, super good nude right there. I have some Tarte, I have more NYX, Maybelline, IBY Beauty, Beauty Creations, more Kat Von D, more Ofra, what the hell is this one, Milani, more Ofra over here, and then I think over here is a NYX, a NYX one. I really do, honestly I have to say Ofra is probably one of my favorite liquid lipsticks besides Jeffree Star. And last but certainly not least, this is my lip gloss slash lip balm. So I have some stuff from ColourPop, Fenty. I have a MAC lip gloss, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Fenty, Essence, So Juicy ColourPop, which is probably one of my favorites. I have this lip balm from Treat Beauty, which is fantastic. Banana cream is not my favorite. The best one I would have to say is the marshmallow cream. So go buy that one. It literally tastes like a Rice Krispie treat. It's so disturbing that you want to eat it. I love it. And then I have a lot of these little ones from Notoriously Morbid, which are really cool. This one's the Frankenberries. I have a beautiful Yes to lip oil that one of you baby sent me. And then I have Rage Against the Bean, which is what's cool. This is from Medusa's Makeup. So past the lipsticks, I have a lot of powder products. So the first drawer that I picked up is actually all Hourglass products. So it's the Hourglass Lighting Trio. I have a little loose setting powder and I have a Diffuse Light Mini, which is great for setting my under eyes and I have been obsessed with it as of late. The next one I have is more little mini setting powders. I have two from Cover Effects. They are the Illuminating Setting Powders. I have a Laura Mercier Mini. I have a Bessemé Translucent Setting Powder, a Makeup Forever Setting Powder, as well as like a little mini Ciate. In this row we have bigger setting powders. I have 
the Jeffree Star one, the Maybelline Fit Me, the Cream Shop, the Creme Shop, Cream Shop, whatever, ColourPop, Inkblot, and then this is one of my favorites. This is the Derma Blend. <sighs> okay, so on this side, I have a mix of stuff. I have the Maybelline Master Chrome. I have a Wet n Wild Loose Highlighting Setting Powder. This is from the Gothographic Collection. I have a couple of little Becca Minis. I have the Loose Setting Powder that I think Diana sent me. This is the Zodiac Collection one. I have a shitload of the Halloween Wet n Wild Skull Highlighters. The Moonlit Gleam one is my favorite, which is this guy. So gorgeous, but I do have like a lavender one as well as I have like more of like a white kind of like purpley blue shift, like a white purple shift. And then I have a black one, which is just ridiculous. I can't really wear it, but it could be more of an eyeshadow. I have a loose setting powder from Artist Couture. I have a big Becca one in Prosecco Pop. I have the Too Faced Diamond one, which, ugh. I love this one so very much. So pretty. I have the Glossier Play one, which is fantastic. And then I have these two Wet n Wild bars, one from the Mermaid Collection as well as the Zodiac Collection. So I recently watched Paulina's video on her makeup collection and she said something like, which made me laugh because it's a situation. She's like, oh, you know, when you kind of get into highlighters, you, know, you buy one and you think, oh, this is all I'm gonna need. And the next thing you know, you like wind up with like 50 of them pretty much. And it's absolutely true. I purchased one and next thing I know, I'm like, oh, I have um, 75. <laughs> fucking highlighters. Don't know why. I have one from Baby Bat Beauty. This is in Starlight. One of my favorite highlighters. And as you can tell, I really just love a good white, icy, slutty highlight. I have one from Cezanne, which Ren sent me. This is another beautiful light, icy white highlight. So fucking gorgeous. Oh my God. I love it. I got these from Emily. I want to say they're from Luxie, Lux, Luxie Beauty or something. I don't know. Emily, where are these from? But these are really cool too though. One's pink, one's lavender. Ooh, I said it's so queen. It's like one's pink, one's lavender. Anyway, that's really cute too. Love that guy. I have the Fenty Beauty, the Diamond Veil or the How Many Carrots. I have the other Fenty Beauty highlighter from the summertime last year. I have three ColourPop ones. I have Jouer, the Skinny Dip Highlighter, which is very, very pretty. Dubious Place Tribe Highlighter, Volume 3. One of my favorite highlighters. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Amorese Highlighter. I was given this by Tara Kruger, who is fantastic. It's so, it's so pretty. I can understand the hype in this one. I don't think Paulina liked it, but I like it. He's gorgeous. I have Crush On You ColourPop Super Shock Palette Highlighter from the Good Sport Collection. One of my favorite highlighters is actually from the Glow Kit, the Sun Dipped Glow Kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And it's just these two. I got rid of the other ones. I didn't need them. It's Summer and Moonstone, but really I think Summer is kind of like my jam. Holy shit. It's so good. So is Moonstone. Fantastic. Ugh, bitch. I love it. Glowing like an alien slut. And my last highlighter drawer is these guys right here. I have the Ofra Glazed Donut Highlighter from Nikki Tutorials. I have the original Nikki Tutorials Everglow Highlighter. And as you can see, if you look real close, I actually hit pan. I'm so proud of myself right there. Oh my God, you see her? <laughs> I love this. This is my favorite highlighter probably of all time. It's so pretty. It's so blinding. Ugh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, I have a Moonlighter from Black Moon Cosmetics. And this is another one that's just a gorgeous white highlighter. So pretty. I have a Wet n Wild Rainbow Highlighter. The Jessica Rabbit Ciate London Highlighter, which I think is fantastic. Fortunately, my little Jessica Rabbit has been kind of destroyed a little bit, but... She's still pretty though. The Balm Mary Luminizer, which is a classic. I have the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter, which this is the first highlighter I ever got. And I love this highlighter. This highlighter was perfection, but I think in time though, I kind of just shied away from this highlighter because it's so mellow. And now I want to look like a, a hot alien slut. So I kind of stopped fucking with that highlighter, but I still love it though. I keep it in my collection, I think for the memories. This is another pure nude one. This is the Be My Cosma Light Highlighter. These were okay. And then this one is Be My Space Lift. So this is more of like a pink kind of shift to it. They're very, they're still very pretty, but you know, they're okay. This one is from Bitter Lace Beauty. This was really gorgeous too. This is the, uh, this is the candy corn one. So pretty. Love that. But this was my favorite though. This was the other one. I think this one actually had some skulls in it, but not anymore because I kind of rubbed the shit out of it. But this one's really pretty as well. 
And last but certainly not least, I actually received this from Jenny. And this is the Pat McGrath highlighters and they're fucking fantastic. So I had to like wipe up all that stuff there. So these are the Pat McGrath highlighters. These were given to me by Jenny. These are just absolutely stunning. Fuck me up, I love them. On the top here, I have my Tatcha water cream, my tried and true, my number one moisturizer. Love this to pieces. I love it so much, as Rich Lux would say. I have this new foundation I've been trying. It's from Il Maquillage, a uh, video to come. This is the No Problem Primer. This is the Luminous Dewy Skin Mist that is not good for for me, especially when I'm putting it over my makeup, but however, before I put my moisturizer on, I like to spritz my face with this like a bougie ass bitch, and it's been pretty good. Scandinavia Makeup Primer Setting Spray, and last but not least, the J1 Jelly Pack. Up here I have most of my beauty sponges, all the dry ones. I have a blue little panda from Tony Moly. I have a fun little thing from Sailor Moon, you put it on an eyeliner pen. I have some excess brushes that I don't even use, an Ulta color switch, and I have two setting powders that I just can't fit in any of the drawers. One, first one, being the Hourglass Veil Setting Powder. And the next one is the Fenty in the shade Butter. This is another one that's a really good setting powder as well. And I love the packaging on that one, so I make sure that he stays up there. The Il Maquillage guy up there. Okay, so let's talk about all the eyeshadow palettes in this section. Now these guys aren't quite full, because basically on this side I have a lot of my palettes, but these are the ones that are currently in rotation. I like to try to rotate my eyeshadow palettes out, otherwise they pretty much don't get used. So um, yeah, I'm constantly always changing out these drawers. So with that said, so most of this is my indie makeup or my single eyeshadow. So the first one is the Colored Rain Safari Palette. These are the Makeup Maniacs Little Mini Quads, the Mighty Mini Quad, I'm sorry. So I have, of course, a green one for my Quest for Green and my Quest for Yellow. The Feral Palette from Menagerie Cosmetics. Super excited to get their new palette, which is the Whaler Song. That should be coming to my house shortly. It's been long fucking overdue, but whatever, I digress. I have, courtesy actually of Georgia Harris, we did a little bit of a makeup swap. She bestowed onto me some really cool shit. So I got the Enchanted Secrets from Linda Halberg, which are these really cool fucking shades that I've been playing with. They're really awesome and I'm really, ugh, I really, really do like this palette. Three Lethal Cosmetics palettes because you guys know these are my favorite. These are the ones that actually got sent to me in PR. <laughs> these are such good little bubbies. I have this palette, fantastic, as well as actually this is probably my favorite, which is the Hive palette. And I actually just placed another order, another 12 shadows, and then I realized that I actually only am missing one eyeshadow and then I have them all. So I need to go buy that one an extra eyeshadow and then I literally have the whole collection. I'm a psycho. This is a really cool highlighter. I, I want to say, is it you, Melody? Melody, did you send this to me? Ah, oh, fuck. If not, please correct me down and I'm sorry if it's wrong, but this is a really cool highlighter though. So I don't want to like touch it too much because I don't want to ruin it, but it's really, really interesting. And it's just adorable. I mean, come on, it's Chucky. Look at him. The cutest fucking thing ever. Love him. So this is the first um, singles palette I have. And a lot of this is from Suva Beauty with the exception of these guys, which are from Mud Makeup. These guys are all from Cleona Cosmetics, which Cleona is fantastic. Go check them out if you haven't already. And then this one is actually from Sugar Pill, the taco shade. This is my own curated yellow palette. These are some of my favorite single yellow eyeshadows. I love them all, but my favorite, truth to be told, is this guy right here. And that is from Colored Rain and you cannot buy him anymore. And that's so sad. I have the Paulina palette from a friend on here. Her name is Paulina. She's great. It's from the brand called Black. Blush Tribe if you guys are not familiar with it. And they're actually gonna be, I think they're restocking this palette now. So if you're interested in this, which is a great fucking palette, it's really cool, I really do enjoy it. You should go check it out, especially if you are a fan of greens, purples, and pinks. And also use the code Paulina. I don't believe money goes to her, but you can save a little bit of coin, so go do that. And then of course, my last Blush Tribe palette is the Fall Fusion palette, which is, this is another beautiful, all right, sorry about that. This is another beautiful fall palette. So gorgeous. And actually the Paulina shade in here is the same as the Paulina shade in the Paulina palette. I have this palette from Makeup Maniacs. I love this palette. This is the Underground Candy palette. Well loved and well abused. The Block Party palette from Suva Beauty. I have the LA Splash Classic Horrors palette, which honestly, I just love the artwork of this, but this is like a really awesome, very simple rainbow palette. And last but not least, I also have the Paleo palette from Cleona Cosmetics. I haven't used it yet. And this is actually also sent in my makeup swap with Georgia. And this palette looks absolutely stunning. Oh my god, look at that. 
Girl. Girl. Holy shit. Okay, I gotta be gentle with her. All right. Wow. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's beautiful. Ah, oh, man. Okay, I'm excited. So my next drawer is all my high-end bougie makeup. This is from Viseart. I have two, actually three Viseart palettes. I have a Theory palette and I have the Libertine as well as the Golden Hour. The Golden Hour is my favorite. The little Theory palette I actually received in my Beautylish Lucky bag. Oh, I didn't even take the mirror off. Oh. That's satisfying. I was channeling Nady from Pop Lux with that one. He usually comes immediately when he does that. This is an awesome little neutral palette though. It's boring, but it's a really good neutral palette. So the next thing is actually from Tom Ford. And no guys, I did not buy this, okay? This was sent to me by one of my lovely subscribers here. Her name is Happy Meanie. She's fucking great. She is not only a really great subscriber, but she's actually a part of our Discord family. And again, you guys should come over to Discord. We're pretty fucking chill over there. And she is such a lovely person. It's not even funny and I adore the shit out of her. So when I saw that she sent this to me, I literally almost had a fucking heart attack. So thanks. <laughs> That's always fun. It's a beautiful quad. I love it. This green shade is so pretty. It was so funny too. She was like, it swatches like shit, but it's really good. Trust me. And she's right. The swatches are, are a little lackluster, but this is a beautiful quad though. Super beautiful. I also have an aqua metal shadow from Tom Ford, which is fucking, it's sick. Packaging is so gorgeous. And I would put it with the Stila's, but I, I can't. <laughs> it has to go in my bougie drawer. It just has to. This is really pretty. Fuck my ass, this is good. I know that was actually pretty graphic, sorry. But um, actually no, I'm not sorry. That's literally what I probably say on a day-to-day -day basis. Fuck my ass, this is amazing. Of course, in the front here, I have actually a Makeup Revolution Halloween Lights Highlighter. No, the, I think this highlighter cost me $1.99, but I just love it because it has a skull embossed in it. The highlighter's shit, but I don't care because I just love that skull. I have two little Natasha Denona palettes. My lovely mini nude palette, as you can see, has been used and abused. And then I have the, the mini Lila or mini Lila palette, which I picked this up for like $12. Love that purple. I have a Huda Beauty. Sapphire Obsessions palette. I have the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette. I did not care for it. I had a weird reaction to it and the shadows disappeared, but half the shadows were good. The other half weren't, so eh, I don't know. Proceed with caution, I suppose. I have the Huda Beauty New Nude palette and the Natasha Denona Gold palette, which is probably one of my favorite things from Natasha Denona, no joke. I have the Pat McGrath, I think Mothership 5 palette, the one with the cool Star Trek red eyeshadows, super fucking pretty. Also, you can beat somebody to death with it. And then I have two little mini Pat McGrath palettes. My next palette are just kind of like a mishmash of things. I have the Milk Cosmetics Smoke Session, the Milk Cosmetics Gemini palette, which has kind of become a little bit of a science experiment, but whatever. I have a bunch of ColourPop in here. I have the Just My Luck palette. I have the It's My Pleasure palette, one of my personal favorites, the Good Sport palette. I have the Misunderstood Villains collection, which eh, it was okay, it wasn't terrible. And then I have a bunch of ColourPop singles, and then I have actually one from Baby Bat Beauty, which is this little bronze one, but I actually love this little singles here. Actually, I also have more singles down here, and this is, I think it's actually kind of filled with ColourPop as well as some of the Kylie Cosmetics Halloween palette ones, because that palette, most of it got smashed but I was able to kind of save a few and then they wound up sending me a new palette. So I just took out the duplicates and put them in here. On this side I have Makeup Geek, kind of like pumpkin spice latte shades and that one. This one is probably one of my favorite Makeup Geek eyeshadows and it's their duo chromes. This is old as fuck, but I, I will never give this up. I love this palette too much. I have the pumpkin spice latte volume two palette. It's not bad, it's okay. Nothing to write home about. I have the Make Up Your Mind Color Pop palette, which is really good too. I have the KKW Beauty, the classic palette. I have the Dose of Colors I Love Sahari, or no, it's I Love Sarah I. I think that's what it is, right? Anyway, um, palette is a little basic, especially for the colors, and the only reason why I got it is because of this green shade, because to this day I haven't found a green shade to match that. And that's the reason why I have this palette. I have two Inglot palettes over here. One is my custom palette. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no! Oh, you fucking bitch. 
shit. I don't want to tilt it up too much. That blush just came right out of the fucking pan. God damn it. Okay, so I'm probably gonna have to dump that blush. That sucks. But these eyeshadows are so good and so perfect, and I really do love Inglot a lot. I'm so bummed out now. And then I have another little Inglot one, and this is actually from Georgia as well. She sent to me uh, some purple eyeshadows uh, from her makeup swap. And then, last but not least, I have the... Violet Voss Like a Boss palette. One of my favorite Violet Voss palettes. So beautiful. So my next drawer is a bunch of random ones. This one is from Best of May Cosmetics. I have a couple from Juvia's Place. The Festival palette. The Tribe palette, which is gorgeous. The Deuce palette or the Douche palette or whatever the fuck you want to call it. This one, I love this palette so much. And the Festival palette, I really do love too, but I haven't been using it that much. So I kind of put, brought it back up here to play around with a little bit more. This palette is so fucking good. This is the Venus XL2 from Lime Crime. So pretty. I love this color story. Almost threw this palette out. Well, not throw this palette out, but I almost decluttered it because I was like, man, I don't really give a shit about a Jouer. And then I started swatching this and then I was like, okay. And then I was like, I need to have this palette. So I've been playing around with this one ever since and I'm glad that I still kept it. And then I have a shitload of Anastasia. I have Modern Renaissance. I have my number one subculture. Prism palette, Soft Glam, Norvina. Riviere, and then the Alyssa Edwards palette. And on this side, I have my Elf J Kissa palette, which I am sad to say that I haven't really played with. So yeah, anyway, I kept it up here because I want to start playing with it around because I love the color story. I think it's really pretty and I really do like J Kissa because she's I think she's adorable. This one's from IBY Beauty. This is the poolside palette. I purchased this, haven't really played with it. The color story seems very, very summery and spring. So can't wait to play around with that one. I have the Wanderess Seascape palette from Wander Beauty. Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette. Tardius Pro Remix from Tarte. Adeline Morin palette. I love this highlighter. I love this yellow shade, like all of this. This is fantastic. This is a really, really good palette. I have the NYX Swear By It palette that's fantastic. Ironically enough, Icy Bitch is great. This is better than the Jeffree Star palette, in my opinion. And last but not least, this thing. And I know a lot of people were like, what the fuck, this is so stupid. Stupid. And I was one of these people until I played with it. So all things makeup 99. She's a fantastic Instagram and she was the one that kind of showed this palette and she showed the silver and that was the reason why I was kind of sold on this palette. So let me swatch it. By the way, it looks so adorable. I never did a review on it, but I'm probably am going to do like a bite size review on it. Shit is so gorgeous. I don't even know if you can get this anymore, but in any case, look at that. That is straight up robot sex. Okay. So over here, I have a bunch of other palettes. I have the Tarte Pineapple. Great holiday palette. I stand by my choices. And yeah, it's ridiculous and it's obnoxious and I have nowhere to put it, but I don't care because it's a fucking pineapple. It's great. Sorry, Moosey, you're gonna have to move for a second. I have two Violet Voss palettes. I have the Face palette as well as the Eyeshadow palette. I have the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar palette. I have the Kaleidos palette, which I am... I actually kept it in their original packaging. Presentation on these guys is completely stunning. I have the Glam Light Burger palette. I have the 35 Boss Mood palette. Jaclyn Hill palette. Problematic Kat Von D Satan Center palette. Probably the last Kat Von D product that I truly love. My favorite Jeffree Star palette of all time. And then of course, the Problematic James Charles palette. So over here I have the Giant Tetris Game Over collection, which I'm going to be doing a review on. But that's everything there. Super cute. Now down here I have a shitload of storage containers that have more palettes. So let me show you that shit. So this box is kind of all the stuff that I'm going to be filming with. The first one being the Makeup Revolution Tammy X palette, the Tropical Carnival palette, the Juicy Olive palette, which I'm so fucking excited to play with. Like, I mean, come on. This is one of the nicest green palettes that I have seen. ColourPop Blue Moon palette that I haven't played with yet. I have the Creepy Cute palette that I plan on reviewing. Again, thank you, Anya, for sending that to me. Ace Butte, Ace Butte, whatever the fuck you want to say. The Oceanic palette, Pinky Rose Runway palette, as well as the three Pinky Rose Obsessed Exotic Peacock and 80s Baby palette. My custom Inglot eyeshadow palette that I created at IMAP. This, I don't even want to fuck up, honestly. This is the, this is the Incredible Cosmetics. This is the Baddies Got Gold highlighter and Unfortunately, like her eye already got fucked up because of like the packaging totally took away her eye and I just don't want to swatch her because she is perfection and I know makeup's gonna go bad. I don't give a shit. This was amazing and I mean look at her. Look at her. She's fantastic. I want to be like her when I grow old. 
I have a retro review of Shade and Light Eye Palette because I actually never purchased this. This is from Kat Von D and I believe, was it Beth? I think you sent this to me, Beth. And then I have a shitload of stuff from Sydney Grace. Sydney Grace was kind enough to send me a lot of eyeshadow singles, which I'm just super thankful for. So thank you so much. And I am going to be doing a full review on them. And I, oh God, they're so fucking good. And then I also have these two little cream eyeshadow guys over here that I want to review also from Sydney Grace. A couple of you guys have asked me to review this, the Moira Sweet Paradise palette. And last but not least, I have makeup from the body shop that I've been meaning to play around with. I have a whole contour palette and foundation and eyeshadows and all kinds of shit. So I need to also do that as well. Oh, last but not least, this is the Come As You Are Carity palette that I received from one of you guys that wanted to remain anonymous. So thanks. I gotta review this palette as well. Basically this box is all the indie cosmetics that I'm going to be making reviews on that I haven't done yet. First one being MBA Cosmetics. I have so many cool things from them. I have a lot of loose eyeshadows from them. This is from Agape Love Girl. This is more loose eyeshadows. I have the Rainbow Bright Collection. I have green eyeshadows. I have Tokyo Stone as well as the Molten Metals Collection. I also have these amazing, 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 amazing glitters that are so fucking cool. I love them. And I also picked up this really cute empty eyeshadow palette. And then I purchased some singles of more of the pressed eyeshadows to kind of see the difference. And can I tell you this one is a chromalus shade down here this is absolutely amazing this is so cool I have n I, I I'm speechless this is amazing these it's I mean come on Come on, bitch. That is so sick. That is some of the nicest pressed glitter I have ever used. The other things I have in here is some more makeup from you guys. And I actually have a nice little collection here of Notoriously Morbid. The bag is not theirs. This is something from like an Ipsy Glam bag. From all of the little Notoriously Morbid guys that you guys have sent me for a little bit, as well as this is what I actually purchased myself. I'm excited to finally review it because, you know, it's about fucking time. This is a multi-chrome the lovely Dana sent me, and let me show you this thing. What sorcery is this, okay? Okay, bitch. This is so, like, evil Maleficent. I love it. So I'm gonna be reviewing this on my channel shortly, but holy shitacles. And last but not least, I do have a shitload of Medusa makeup that I also have to do a video on as well. I have brushes and eyeshadows and all that good shit. Here are some of my remainder palettes. Natasha Denona Sunset Palette, the Revolution Emily Edit the Wands Palette, which is something that I wanna actually do a review on. I don't know why it's in this box. The Makeup Revolution Carmi Palette. I know I decluttered it, but I wound up rescuing it again because I kind of felt bad, I don't know why. Two of this problematic Jaclyn Hill bitch, both the Dark Magic and the Armed and Gorgeous Palette. I probably should've got rid of the Dark Magic, but I figured, fuck it, I'm just gonna save it. Try to play around with it again. Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen Palette. I have Makeup Revolution Galactic Palette. Ace Beauté Grandiose Palette. Joseph Colors Frankation Palette, Lorac Gold, Venus 2. I have two Makeup Forever palettes. I have this one, which I think is the Artist 2 collection, and then this is the Artist 1 Violet Voss Pro palette that we got in a boxy charm. Naked Reloaded, Naked Heat, Ace Butte Butte, whatever, the classical Paradise Slice of Paradise palette, Kylie Jenner Makeup Bullshit Halloween palette, the Saharan. Afrique, the Blush, the Nubian, the Zulu, the Warrior 2, the Warrior 1, the Masquerade, and the Nubian 2. Holy shit, I do have a lot of Juvia's Place palettes. Fuck, I really do like their eyeshadows. They're really great. Urban Decay Kristen Leanne palette. ColourPop, Cute AF, ColourPop Designer palette. This palette's hot dog shit, but I have sentimental value towards it, so it's the Aspen Overboard palette. Bretman Rock, Wet, Lit, Pastel Goth, Divine palette. Kat Von D's Shitty Fetish palette. Makeup Maniac Toast and Jam palette. Makeup Maniac Drag Me Out. Never Cancelled palette. Tarte Unicorn palette, Tarte Basic Ass Bitch Brown palette, Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D. And then what do I have down here? 
Oh, colored rain palette, queen of hearts palette that was given to me by Emily. Beauty killer palette, androgyny palette, and I fucking hate this palette, the thirsty palette. Ugh. Then I have more palettes down here. I have an empty Ofra palette. I have the IBY City Limits palette. I wind up saving this one from Almar Cosmetics. I initially was going to donate it, but then, I don't know, something just came over me. I just wanted it. NYX Grind palette. Maybelline Soda Pop. The Makeup Revolution Emily Edit The Needs palette. Two of the Too Faced Christmas palettes. Pure Love Your Selfie 2. This was actually given to me. The Gina? I think it was you, Gina. The Soap palette. No Place to Hide. Never Sleep Again. Hot Topic Makeup, Makeup Revolution Lemon Palette. I have, I actually really like these one from It Cosmetics, the It Girl, this, this is their holiday palettes. This is the one that came out this Christmas, this past Christmas, super good. And this is the first one I ever got from It Cosmetics. I still use them, I think they're really good neutral palettes. I just wish it would be a little bit more daring with their colors, but eh, oh well. Carity Matte Palette, my favorite Carity Palette of all time. Using the shit out of it, so it's time to kind of start recycling it a little bit, using other things. <laughs> I thought I got rid of this. I guess I didn't. I have Laura Lee Party Animal Palette. Believe it or not, I really, really did like this palette. J Cat Beauty, Desert Vibes, and the Atlantis Palette. I don't know why this is down here. I gotta put this one up there. And then I have this one, which I always wanted to do a video on, and then I just never did. And as you can see, I never opened it. It's the Nickelodeon palette. And last but certainly not least, I have this little plastic container on the side over here. Nothing really particularly interesting kind of goes on in here. The bottom bin pretty much holds all my makeup bags. The middle bin pretty much has a lot of like just excess tools, like like extra brushes, extra sponges, nothing really particularly interesting. And then the top bin here is just pretty much much like either completely new products or duplicates or some shit like that. And also on the top of that, I have this little bag that I got from BoxyCharm and essentially it's just a bunch of like moisturizers that uh, that I've gotten from either subscription boxes or what have you that I'm just kind of cycling through. So nothing particularly interesting. I have like Drunken Elephant, some Origins in here. I have Elemis, I have Milk Makeup. I have Too Cool for School, which is a great brand. Some Tatcha stuff, Face Hero, some Wander Beauty, stuff like that. So this is kind of like really not that super interesting. So here are the things that I have in this tub. I have a Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I have an extra Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Setting Spray. I have a Catrice Prime and Fine Setting Spray. I have two setting sprays from Cover FX, a mattifying one and a luminizing one. I have a Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I have a Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I have a Cover FX Blurring Primer. I have these two products from e.l.f. One is an eyeshadow, one is a glow stick. Don't really understand what that is. I bought a spare of the Tatcha Silk Canvas because now that it recently was acquired <laughs> by I think it was a Unilever or whatever I'm afraid their products are gonna go to shit so I am stocking the fuck up you might think I'm crazy but that's usually what happens when all brands get bought out by bigger companies I have a butter bronzer from Physicians Formula I have the Nikki Tutorials highlighter from Ofra and the newer packaging I have another little Tatcha Silk Canvas guy I have a Butter London mascara the Balm mascara that I've received from subscription boxes I have a Strictly Vinyl Eyeliner from NYX. I have another Almay Eyeliner, the old one, the good one as I call it. I have another Almay Eyeliner over here. I have a more Pacific, the fuck is this? Essential Crumb Fluid. I don't even know what that is, but I have that in here. I have some Body Shop body butter, some blotting papers. I have the Grande Lash Serum. I have Clinique Pep Start. I have a Wet n Wild Gloss. I have some backups of my favorite liquid lipstick or one of my favorite liquid lipsticks from Baby Bat Beauty. Three of them. I have an Ulta lip gloss. I have a little, I think one of you guys sent this to me, a little sample of the Mary Luminizer. I have the Clinique Even Better Foundation. I have another hand cream from the Body Shop, a Makeup Revolution a foundation, a stick foundation one of my favorite foundations in the shade of three. And then I have an unopened NYX lipstick. And that is my collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what your collection's like. And then note, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free. And hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Discord. And on Thursdays, we do The Miserable Three. I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.